Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I just want to wish you all a Ramadan Mubarak. It is going to be such a wonderful month and I really hope that Allah accepts all our prayers, all our du'as and guide us through this holy month and make it a successful one, inshallah. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I decorated my space for Ramadan this month. I am super excited. I'm super happy that I was able to do this. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. It was tough, y'all, because I didn't have everything that I thought I needed. Um, I don't even think I made a list of all the things that I needed. I just went with the flow. So I would definitely um, advise y'all to go ahead and make a list first so your life will be so much easier. I literally went to probably 10 different stores, y'all. Like, and I'm not even tripping. I went to a lot of stores. I ordered a lot of stuff from Amazon. And I am also going to let you guys know what I purchased so you guys would not make the same mistake that I did, okay? So prepare, prepare beforehand, and then go ahead and be creative, y'all. And just, um, I really, really hope this video help y'all if y'all want to get creative at home and want to do your own thing at home, okay? Inshallah. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so let's get started and grab you some to hula hoop, not to hula hoop, but to cut them up, cut them up and create your crescent. Okay, you are going to need them. You know how the two hula hoop have actually a metal thing in between, so we need to cut that, cut it. And do not throw it away you are going to need it later on and again if you find a better alternative then go ahead and try it but for me I did what I can with what I have um, and I just try to be creative as much as I can okay so don't, so don't judge me do not judge me okay so as you guys can see I am trying to measure um, the hula hoop so I could create like this big crescent and it actually works okay hula hoops be coming in handy so as you guys can see with the other one I am actually going to cut it with a knife please do not use a knife do not listen to me or do not watch this and say hey I'm going to use a knife I actually had a cutter that I got from Home Depot but I totally totally lost it and did not know where it was at so I ended up using a knife and I do not think that is the safest option at all so um go ahead and measure your hula hoop and once you got it all measured go ahead and cut it this is how it looks doesn't it look like it's promising like something's going to really 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 come out of this it is we just got to trust the process okay so i did find um some pool noodles from my last project i never uploaded that one but i will try to upload that one i actually did a arch or for my wedding you know how I said say the little metal thing here's why because you actually can use it to connect your hula hoop together and I thought that was a very 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 smart option because um, baby girl I had to improvise y'all I didn't even have tape I did not even why did I even start this project when I didn't even have tape so <laughs> I technically found a box that had some old tape I took it out and then I wrapped it you know improvise so go ahead and grab you um, some zip ties. You are going to need it so you can go ahead and make the hula hoop and the pool noodles very, very tight. So that's what exactly what I did. And I did grab me some PVC pipe that I got from my last project. Again, you can get those things from Home Depot. They, will, they have them. They will cut them for you. And also the board, the white board that you are seeing, they also have those. I was very lucky that somebody cut them for me. Um, it was really, really super nice. You could get all of these things at Home Depot. <laughs> So remember when I said I was missing a lot of things? Well, your girl actually had to order some things from Amazon. So I ended up getting some soft garland because after I created the moon last night, I was like, oh, okay. So 
it's missing something. It's missing a base. It's missing something that I can actually cover up before I add the flowers that I want to add. Um, so I was so happy that they actually had this and it came in within like two days. Okay. So I got some green garland and it was pretty soft. It was pretty nice. It was pretty long. I really, really wish I got way more because I only bought two pack and I actually needed three by the end of this project. But I, again, I improvised. I did not order more. I just improvised. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to wrap the garland around. And if you look at the, <laughs> if you look at the crescent, it looks so ghetto. Like I'm missing pool noodles. I am missing so much. I had to use tape to make sure that um, it just doesn't fall. Like it's together. And I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad because I am just trying to be creative, trying to use what I actually have without ordering so many different things. Um, <laughs> it was crazy. So even though I started on the bottom, eventually, like as I got to the top, I was like, yeah, we're going to have to try to do this over because it's just it just wasn't working. <laughs> So like I said, I had to actually start over. So I started from the top instead and worked my way to the bottom. There was um, some missing spaces, but that was fine with me because I am actually going to cover them up with the flowers um, that I wanted to cover up. And as you guys can see, the base, the base was very difficult. Like y'all, like I ended up putting pink and I really wish that I had some more green hula, um, not hula hoops. I really wish I had some green um, pool noodles, but I didn't. I only had a pink and few green ones. So I did what I can and just improvise as much as I can. So I had some box of flowers for my last project that I saved, which I'm so happy that I did that because I bought so, so much. I bought so much for my last project and I spent so much money. And again, if you want some of these items, you can find them in the description um, through Amazon, through my Amazon store front. And trust me, they are very, very good. Some of them I didn't really, really like. Again, if you guys have a question, please let me know which one. But the majority of them are really, really, really good if you are into making floral arrangements, okay? So, of course, I'm going to use my sheen bag so I can store them because, baby, do not throw them away. Those little sheen bags be coming through. They be saving lives, okay? So, go ahead and grab your flowers, your favorite ones. In your stem put it together I believe those ones call um, white hydrangea silk flowers they were really really good they take up a lot of space and they are so pretty and so good y'all they are actually one of my faves that I got from Amazon so put them together on the crescent all the spaces that I was missing I actually went ahead and add them right there so they could fill up the spaces as you guys can see in the corner i added some of the green leaves that i had to cover up that space as well it worked out perfectly i didn't have to buy more garland which i was so happy about and i ended up putting some roses just to make it all classy and pretty all whatever because i just love me some flowers <laughs> yes i do i really wanted to um cover up the whole entire thing with flowers but i got lazy and decided to just keep it just the way it is and it turns out pretty fine to me so <laughs> I really really wanted 
decided to put some lights on the crescent i thought it would be very bright very pretty and i clearly don't know how to read because i grabbed me some curtain lights from at home and thinking that it was going to work no it did not it didn't work actually at all so i ended up putting them on my curtains um and i actually ended up ordering some led lights those little string led lights from amazon um which actually took about two days so i had to wait yeah if y'all going to buy any lights make sure you guys buy batteries because i actually had to go back to the store to get me some batteries and that was not fun okay get you some batteries ahead of time <music> and I put them on the crescent and it was really really pretty because it was really really small um at first I was like uh maybe I should have just kept them like with just the flowers but once I went and lighted up it was so pretty it was so nice and it brightened up the room so as you guys can see I'm super happy because I can finally move on from this from this project I'm done finally like it took me like probably a week y'all because I had to wait for all the orders to come in so I'm happy I'm very very happy how it turns out um it is really really pretty and just just take a look just take a look and just yeah <laughs> okay y'all thank you so much for watching and Ramadan Mubarak go ahead be creative get creative and have fun Okay, y'all, so I am finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took it took a few days, y'all. I am so happy that it is over with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys try it at home. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And also, look at the description below. I will have um, some of the things that I use. I will have the link down below. And... Um, Again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Mwah.